still be in the Elite Eight. I don't know if there's an Elite Eight anymore, but right. he certainly is up there, right? He's in the... He's among the viable characters. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say that. All right. But Yukadon, as we said, such a strong player. And in fact, uh, not a lot of players knew who he was, but I think he went by a different nickname before. I forgot what the nickname was now. Uh, switched it over to Yukadon when Street Fighter V started up. Uh, started doing really well at some tournaments. And uh, people who were not familiar with him were like, oh, who is this guy? Why is he so good? But he has been one of the strongest players. He is part of that gaming house along with Eita and uh, Goichi. Goichi, that's it. Yeah. All right. Crimson has chosen to go with Dalsum rather than Alora, which is the other one. We've seen both today. Uh, in fact, we saw him switch to Dalsum from Laura when he was playing against Momochi. It didn't work out, but it worked out better than Laura did. And, and Sin can play in this matchup. You know, uh, he can he can pressure. Uh, the mid range is okay for him. And that you know, when I watch Mr. Crimson play, I feel like a lot of it is the offensive side of Dalsum. And that, that that's real in this game. Yeah, Especially if the opponent doesn't get have the stun. He wants that stun so bad. So you can see the pressure still going in there. This offensive Dalsum from Mr. Crimson. Yeah, if the opponent doesn't have a dragon punch or a three frame button or something fast like that, then Dalsum can do some good work. Oh, he tried to look like slide oh. into B trigger, but a neutral jump from Yukadon is gonna punish that slide into the critical art, and he's gonna take that round. Now, Mr. Crimson always looks like he's so nervous. <laughs> right? He, like he just he's has like a worried expression on his face. I don't know. But he's looking good. He did lose the round, but I like some of what he did there. I swear, I, I, I feel like his cat is not sick at home right now. <laughs> he can't stop thinking about Just it. waiting for the something. updates on the yeah, cat. Uh -huh. I hear that. <laughs> Just want Fluffy to be better. Now, we can dump back. Oh, nice up. timing. Oh, yeah, great timing on it. And he's going to spend the critical art to get the damage. And he goes in for the pressure afterward. Yep. Gale. Two Lots gales, of frame but a great back dash from Yukadon makes it so he can punish it. Ooh, great block though from what? That was crazy. Oh, I really like it. He understands the the Nash match, but it's a really important thing to see. Oh, oh tried it! He might die! Oh Whoa, no confirm into the critical art. He got it on that hit. Did he just miss the cancel? Fight. Oh. Jump backwards over the slow sonic boom. That is the uh, jump height of Dalsum. Yeah. Crimson backing up again. I mean, oh, great timing again. He's had such good callouts on that. And it's interesting. Mr. Crimson has a really interesting uh, a variance of instant air teleport heights. Yeah. That I haven't seen in a lot of Dalsum players. He goes for particularly high ones sometimes. Nice. Yeah, the, the high ones are in order to beat the jabs. Right? Oh, that he... was so tricky. Good stuff. Let's V trigger into the corner, in the throw. <laughs> Get you worried about left, right, and then just go for the throw. Nash wins. But you were saying that the high instant air teleports? Oh, to beat so the high, jabs. Yeah, yeah, high air okay. teleports. Okay. Higher, or not high, but a yeah, little bit higher yeah, yeah. than instant air teleport. You'll come in, like, on top of the opponent, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and the way that the fierce works, it will hit around where the jab is. So just a way to deal with that. Make the opponent think twice. Mobility is there. Wow, really? Tragedy just like that. Crimson going in. Will he go for the... Ooh, just the escape from Yukadon. Nice timing. Yep, big damage. Again, Dalsum, one of those low health characters. Oh, oh wow, not close enough for that Sonic Boom to connect. Now the question is, how does Sim get out of here? He's been caged. Yukadon keeps him here still. Lows rather than overhead. Finally, the overhead comes. I do like the mobility out of Yukadon. Okay, it gets rid of the hat just like that. Backing off. You know, the, that mobility from Crimson is interesting as well. He'll go in for a couple of hits, see if it works. If it doesn't, that's okay. Back off. Oh, wow. Just got the throw. It was a little bit too close. And I'll keep him, try to keep him caged in the corner over there with that sand round house, but gets out of there with the B trigger. No V reversal. Yeah, so he's gonna Caught cook a there, cooking, yeah. cooking. And now with that super on deck, Sim, if he gets the hit here, he can take it. 
Destroy, so can Yukadon, and he's shown the ability to get in quickly with Moonsault, dash in, set up a boom and get in, all sorts of yeah, abilities for one, him. One hit from Nash. One hit from Nash. Ooh, landed in time to block. Oh, that could be it. Oh, was that too early? No, no got, him, got him, got him, got <laughs> him. It is. It's such a bet. Yeah. It's a big And it wasn't going to kill, no, too. No, it wasn't going to kill. I'm not sure why Crimson went for that. Still worried about his cat <laughs> at all. Oh, I would be, too. Your continent away from your little kitty? Come on. Who wouldn't be? You'd have to be heartless, oh, James. Oh, Fight. So 2-0 for Yukadon. I'm not going to switch to Laura. I'm going to stick with Dalsim. Yeah, I don't really think it's a character issue. Not the best matchup, but it's certainly better for Sim than most are. He can he can certainly play. I mean, he is he can play this matchup. Oh, that was interesting that that missed the slide. I guess it doesn't have a low enough hurt box to catch it. Now, Mr. Crimson trying to go in. You can see this aggressiveness from Mr. Crimson. Definitely a very aggressive. And yeah, there we go. We got some Nash Browns cooking on the open fire. Will he go for Gale's Gale? Overhead low, the low. Now, thinking back to the jump back jab, might have been an instant air gale that failed. Not sure. Right. Not necessarily a jump back jab. Mm, that's true. That's Could have been uh, something else. All right, getting in with the moonsault slash. Mr. Crimson too scared to try to counter it on top in time. Ooh, that was a fireball coming out? Yeah, that's what it looked like. And a fierce? Was that a fear reversal? I don't know. There's some funky stuff coming yeah. out of Mr. Crimson right now. Alright, but he gets the V trigger once again. Ooh, did you see that teleport to yeah, avoid very the V trigger? Cute. That was and so as a good. result, Nash is in there. Oh, here's a oh, chance to knock loses down. A, loses a nice chunk of life there thanks to all that gray help that was built up from the trigger. Crimson playing oh, patiently. Oh, bad yep. range on that moonsault slash. Had the right read, just went too far, and Mr. Crimson is going to be able to take his first game here. It is two to one. Win. This is the 10 wins. Yeah, he played that well. We didn't quite see some, uh, we saw some solutions, I should say, to some of the mobility options before you get on. Nice. Get on in there, pressuring well. Oh, that was a ground teleport, yeah. Yeah, which sucks. <laughs> <laughs> How do you really feel about that, David? You don't even need the options like the James. You just see it and you dash forward and punish. Match point now for Yukadon. Wearing Round those double hats. Oh, nice slide. Avoid the jump attack. Oh, there's that standing light punch, though, to always counter that instant air mm, teleport. That was supposed to be an instant air teleport. Didn't come out. Oh, a little. Look at this pressure there are some scrambles. from Yukadon. Some scrambles for sure, but Crimson finds the hit. Oh, nice! Goes to the other side! Gets the hit, lots of damage thanks oh, to that V trigger. Oh, so smart to not quick rise. Look at this mobility from Mr. Crimson! Oh, He's gonna get in there! He gets got the, the bell! Stun. Yes! Oh, oh no! Oh, kill! Oh, oh boy. Okay. Oh, wow! Jabbed him in the not true block. Okay. Screen. Wow. But he went for the non optimal combo there. Final round. Fight. Just thought it'd be enough, I suppose. So Yukadon still on match point. He has super, so pretty good situation for himself. Love that moonsault. A little bit of pressure here from Crimson. Oh, he backs off. What a oh, call out. Especially the fireball, yeah. considering there's a super down there on Yukadon's side. That was a huge call from Crimson. Wow. Point blank tragedy assault. Good block for Mr. Crimson, but he's going to use that opportunity to use Yukadon to get the throw. Again, just chipping away with little overheads here and there. But smart. Yeah, knew that he did not have. Okay. Great block. Underneath. Yeah, slides get away from that. Again, Super's in there. So again, Crimson really has to consider that in terms of how he zones. Nice. Okay. Knockdown now in the lion's den. Oh, but Crimson got the oh, hit again! He got him on the other side, and here we are. We're tied two to two. Wow. So yeah, definitely the right choice to stay with this character. Nice work. Again, he's had some solutions to some of Yukadon's movement that was in there earlier on. Haven't quite seen the same 
grounded movement. We're still seeing moonsaults. We haven't seen too many. Yeah, okay. I love the sight. I think that's a great way to start. Whenever you see a Dalsum with this kind of movement that Mr. Crimson is having right now, the mobility, it's really a beautiful thing to watch. Just oh, yeah. Quick teleports. Oh, but a, what a neutral jump from Yukadon. Able to punish that drill, then gets the media attack. Trying to get the stun, and he's gonna do it off the throw. So Yukonon going to be at match point. Oh, oh no, we're not. Well, there it okay, is. Okay. Unfortunately, a mistake by Yukonon, but then yeah. also unfortunately a mistake by Mr. Crimson. Yeah, it was just one of those situations where Mr. Crimson was probably already like letting go of the controllers, getting ready for the next round. Red wow, lock. And do you see how Yukonon is just chipping oh, nice. away, getting little bits of damage with that overhead. He has landed so many overheads. Nice. Slides under, gets a throw, second throw. Oh, he, that oh, he saved super. Oh, no, oh, the Gale. No. He wanted Gale. He wanted instant air. Gale. Oh, no, it's a crouching work? option from Yukadong. Yeah. That's going to be a ton of damage. That might be it, in yeah, fact. Yeah, it's also 900 health. It's oh, not. Okay, There's not a chance. Quite. There's a chance here. Oh! Wake up. Jab. He gonna beat the overhead. Some good things oh, in a row. Oh, he tried to bait a wake up button. Beautiful from... read by Yukadon. Yeah. Beautiful expectation yeah. of the delayed teleport. Ex you know, Mr. Grimson's looking there for a wake up button or for a wake up grab. Right? Yeah, I, but Yukadon had the right read. So smart. I'm really, really sad that Mr. Crimson went with that wake up super. I just felt like it was just kind of a, you know what, I just, I need to win this, like let's just 